busy with school but I wanted to jump on real quick and I wanted to open a package on camera um, I've been waiting for this for about mm, it was like a week and a half two weeks so it was really fast shipping um, but I ordered Let's see if I can open it nope hang on I need scissors okay all right I know you probably can't see it, but I ordered a wax seal for my wedding invitations. Um, I've always wanted to do one of these, and you know, it's the perfect opportunity to. Oh, I'll do a close up in a second. But the wax, the bag's broken, wax is everywhere, but it's the wrong color. It's all up in the bottom of that. We're still gonna try it out just to make sure I like the wax. I can always buy more wax. Yeah, she does like custom designs and stuff like that. I'll leave her Etsy down below. I was just so excited and I wanted to open it on camera because it is something that I'm doing for our wedding invitations and I thought it'd be kind of cool to, yeah, experiment on camera. She offers a lot of different packages, um, but I ended up getting the one that came with the stamp itself with the cute handle, the little scoop that you melt the wax in. Turned out real cute, oh, it's so cute, so little. And then of course the wax. That is what, there you go. It's just our initials and then our date. And she had a bunch of options about like what color handles you can get and stuff like that. She offers a lot of different packages. So like say you just wanted this, you could get that, you know, that kind of thing. So I have here a candle, just a plain old scented candle. Pop some wax in here. I'm just gonna do three for now just to see how it pours. long this stuff takes to dry. Let's... Oh my gosh! Yeah, so I do think it needs a little more. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Oh wait. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it definitely needs more wax. But it's so cute! I love it! Okay, we are going to try that again. Um, I don't think there was enough wax, so I'm gonna try four beads, maybe five just to play it safe. But, I mean, if that's the case, if that's how much it takes for one stamp, I might have to look into finding wax somewhere else. I don't know how expensive wax is, so. We'll see, because we have like, I think we're gonna have around like 200 guests at our wedding, so I don't know. We'll figure that out later. I just wanted to, to jump on and try this out. So we're gonna try it again with five beads this time just to kind of see how that goes. And we're gonna, we're gonna cook our wax. work on my technique because it's not like going around the whole thing. I don't care if I'm not doing this right. It literally is so cute. Let's see. Yeah, you can see that. Well, that turned out really good. I'm so excited that it finally came in. I've been waiting and I'm gonna get on Etsy real quick and tell you how much I paid for it. 
Okie doke. So my total was $16.99. She was running a 10% off sale. Um, so I think I got a steal on that. I got to personalize the head of my stamp. I got to choose the size of my stamp. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, I got to choose the color of my handles. And then I also chose the package that had the stamp, handle, 100 wax beads, and then the little, I don't even know what you call this, little scoop. But I was just so excited to share this with everybody and... Oh, I do have a video coming up. It's filmed, I just have to edit it. Um, but it's my bridesmaid boxes. I did six bridesmaid boxes and then a junior bridesmaid box. Um, and I had a budget for myself and I stayed within that budget. So I'm very proud of that and I will have that up sometime soon, hopefully. Um, I am busy with school right now. We're coming up towards the end of it. So we shall see and leave comments below if you have any kind of questions. Oh, I also wanted to mention that I have this little journal right here. It's just blank pages on the inside. Um, ever since I got engaged, I started writing down like what I want in my wedding and I have it done with like watercolor and all that. So like just a sneak peek. It just has like ideas of stuff. Like for this page, um, it just has all my ideas of like wax stamps and stuff that I had and then I'm going to be putting like the official seal in here or whatever. But if you're interested in this kind of like book thing to see how I've kind of thought out what I'm going to do for like from flowers to cake to photos to everything that like I picture in my wedding is written down in here. And um, I don't have that much, but I, I'm, I'm really hoping to have it filled out by the time we get married so I can like have this laying out. People can kind of like flip through the pages and kind of see where my thought process was. Oh, we are excited. We have chosen a date finally. We are getting married in August of 2020. Um, so we're gonna have to start picking up stuff a little bit more uh, now that we have a deadline, so. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe while you're down there. Let me know what you want to see wedding wise because I'm up for anything. I'm up for a challenge. Um, but other than that, I don't really have anything felt. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say other than I will see you on my next video. Bye.